So if we're gonna turn our horse around successfully, we need to have enough body control. We need to be able to not only soften that horse in the face and they need to be able to follow a feel and yield their shoulders, but they also need to be able to yield their rib cage and their hindquarters to us. And that's why side passing, whether it's just a straight line or side passing circles is a great preparatory exercise for spins because it allows you to be able to control and place that horse's rib cage. See, she's already trying to turn. It allows you to place that horse's rib cage or hindquarters where you need them to be. Because when we go into our forward and around exercise to start teaching that spin, we need to be paying attention to those main body parts. Where are the shoulders at? Where's the rib cage at? Where's the hindquarters at? And the more control we have of those body parts, the better. So in addition to side passing circles, as well as two tracking and yielding the hindquarters, my favorite turnaround exercise is the forward and around exercise. How I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna lengthen my hands a little bit so I can keep the majority of her front end between my reins. I'm gonna draw my hands up to the point of my hips. I'm gonna soften her face vertically and I'm gonna push her forward and around. I'm using both legs to try to straighten her body up underneath of me, but I'm also trying to make as tight of a circle as possible without losing forward motion. In the beginning, you'll have to make quite a large circle, you know, just to get that horse's body put together, drive them up into their face like this. You can see I'm using active leg pressure, bumping and rolling with my spurs, softening her face vertically, keeping her driven up there. If her hips are lagging, I'm gonna pick up more with that inside leg and get those hips up underneath me. If her rib cage is bowing out, I'm gonna keep that thing in. I'm gonna use outside leg, get that rib cage brought into line. If she's losing forward motion, I'm gonna use both legs to drive her up into her face. And you might say, well, that's a huge bind that you're putting that horse in, driving them forward and around like that. And my answer is, that's precisely what I'm after. What I'm doing here, if you look at the way we teach this from the horse's mental perspective, I'm making two concentric rings, essentially. There's an outer circle where I'm pushing the horse forward and around, and then there's an inner circle, which is the pocket of relief where the horse is gonna be spinning. Everything I do with the turnaround is about teaching the horse to hunt for that circle because I want them mentally to be committed back with me and be thinking about how can they push back to me, fight that body momentum that's pulling them forward out of the spin and stay back with me and hunt for the inside of that turn. So what I'm doing is I'm creating a ring outside of my turnaround with this forward and around exercise that is pressure, 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 bind, bind, bind. And then when I open my inside leg and finally allow that horse to stop moving forward and start spinning, that's like a release of pressure. Driver forward and around, pressure, pressure, pressure. Now I'm gonna open that leg. Where does she go? Whoa. Now why did I stop there? Because I felt her keep her weight back on her hindquarters and mentally commit to staying with me.